Here are three skills from podcasting that I've learned and picked up that is helping me at work and is having a very valuable impact. So number one is planning and research. So when I'm researching guests, I'm diving into what is it that makes them interesting? What are the pertinent points about their story and life? And it's such a important part of the process. Knowledge is power. Firstly, it's about qualifying that they're a right fit and then making sure that I'm representing them accurately uh, and on the specifics of their story. So I can apply that to the workplace as well. So when I'm researching opportunities, uh, when I'm speaking to volunteers uh, and understanding their needs and then matching them up with the right volunteering uh, activity, when I'm doing business case stuff, uh, when I'm developing new ideas, that all comes into play. Number two is communication skills. I think this is the biggest uh, benefit, I would say, and especially with listening skills. So on my podcast, on average, they're about one hour, 20 minutes. That's a long time to sit and listen to someone and interact, but it's super important because you need to understand um, the the story, the journey that they're going through in order to uh, follow up with relevant, pertinent questions as well as, and follow up with things that um, are going to resonate with them and draw out other details as well. So just doing a straightforward interview and having a question sheet is not going to work because yeah, it could be a uh, an arbitrary other type of question that's not related to what they've just said over the last uh, 20 minutes and it becomes quite robotic so instead I have a framework of the general area that I want to cover and then I kind of look away from my question sheet there'd be four or five questions and I ignore it and I just deeply listen to the person that I'm speaking with this is incredibly relevant for the workplace so when, I, when I'm on meetings when I'm in uh, workshops I was in a, a workshop recently with my my team at, at work and you've got to be listening in um, very intently uh, in order to, to kind of shape the ideas and bring bring those ideas together and how it can fit with some of the activities and the planning uh, that, that's happening. Number three is the editing process. So this is a bit more of a, a technical skill. Um, and I'm learning through trial and error about the quality of audio and setup and the adjustment of the mic and even the, how physically near or far it needs to be. Um, and inter interference of speakers, not using wireless ones, which interfere can interfere with the recording device. Always using a mic. Do not use the audio, uh, the uh, mic on the DSLR because it's rubbish uh, and it's, it can be quite far away. Always use a, a recording device. Um, and also briefing your guests as well. So it's all good you setting up all your stuff and having the gadgets and things like that. Your uh, your guest also needs to be um, on that kind of kind of same level, but at least giving some basic instructions as well. So there was a recording where I had to redo the whole podcast episode because their wireless headset was interfering with the mic on their phone. So the next time we recorded it, uh, they had got a wired headphone and the audio was Im immeasurably much, much better uh, than the original. Um, and as part of that, there's um, video editing as well. So I'm getting a bit slicker with my video podcast as well. And understanding that um, less is more. So I, the original one that I did, I did some a lot of editing, thinking, all right, I'm just I was in that mindset of this is a YouTube video, needs to be highly edited, but that's not the case. Um, just draw out pertinent parts of that podcast, and the key messages as well, and um, as part of that trailer that I produce, keep it simple. Um, it draws people in, and then hopefully gets them to continue to view, listen to the rest of the. Uh, podcast so thanks for watching uh, guys uh, if you're new to the channel i'm a digital inclusion project manager at a large uh, tech consultancy i do a lot of uh, volunteering as well 
And if this has been helpful, please share with others and I'll see you on the next video.